Hey friends, welcome back to the Destination Baby and Kids YouTube channel. This is Gina, your host, and I am here to go over two fabulous Stoka high chairs with you. Uh, this guy that I've got right in front of me in the turquoise is going to be the Trip Trap. And this one over here, um, I actually think they call this color soft mint, but irrespective, the one that's uh, more of a green blue, this is gonna be the Trip Trap. And this one over here is going to be the Stoka Steps. So Stoka makes four high chairs. I do have a video comparing all of them to each other. Uh, the thing about the three sort of high-end ones that they do or more expensive ones is that they're all super close in price to each other. So this one uh, equivalently set up where we would have a cushion and the matching tray that actually matched everything, that would be $3.99. Um, this one with all the pieces that you see, the tray, the baby set, the cushion, and the chair is going to be $409. So very, very, very cost uh, equivalent. And we're gonna go over what the differences are between these two products so that you can have a better understanding of what might make sense for your home. So both of these are going to sit, as you can see, at a table height. So I've got this table set up behind. Um, and you can see the chair would pull up right to the table with or without the tray on it. These right now, I have trays on both of them. Now they both have an option for a white or a black plastic. Um, trip trap, if you're gonna do the chair and the baby set, generally speaking, people buy matching, but I have them set up in different colors so people can understand the different stages of the chair and the different pieces that you can purchase separately if you want. There's always a cost savings with buying stuff together as a complete package or as different types of packages. What you see here, um, same type of situation as here, where it's going to be table height, so we can use it with or without the tray pulled up to the table, which is awesome. Um, and then these will both turn into chairs that work for much older, larger people. So we start at six months with either one of these set up as you see, and then they'll grow for you um, this one will hold up to 242 pounds, and this guy over here holds 167. So I would say they both work through teen easily, and uh, this one probably further into adulthood. But they'll work for a dining room chair, a desk chair, additional chair, lots of nice options. So, um, if I had to say the biggest difference between the two, and usually I say this till the end, but I think it's important to point out now because that'll make the differentiation much easier, I think this one operates better as a high chair, and I think this one is great if you're looking for something with greater amount of longevity and adjustability. So you can say like, well, what do you mean about that? This one, the Stoka Steps, is going to be easier to do the adjustments. The Trip Trap, you're going to need tools to do some of the adjustments on it, so you're gonna to need to have the dexterity and like the patience to do those type of adjustments when you're ready to do them. When you're ready to make the adjustments here on the steps, it's going to be significantly easier and much more user-friendly in order to do the things you need to do. So say, give me an example. I will show you just with the trays. So the tray functionality on this one, I'd say is rather poor because the piece that you click is underneath and then it pops up. I don't like trays that come on and off this way um, with things that can fall onto the child, any type of food or anything. It's just not an ideal setup. So um, to be fair, this product, like I said, was designed in the 70s and a tray was an afterthought on this because it was always intended to pull up directly to the table. Um, that being said, if you do like using a tray, the steps tray is a lot more functional where you have pieces underneath that function much more like a traditional high chair, and then that piece will just scoot and click on. So if you're going to want to utilize a tray, maybe you don't want them at your table and you don't want mess all over your table, this one's tray I would give definite credit to as being uh, more functional. So that being said, uh, another difference is gonna be backrest adjustability on steps. There's two buttons on it where I can move the backrest further back to accommodate a larger child. It also sits up taller, which is really awesome. Um, that type of adjustment I don't have on this chair whatsoever. I can remove this piece, but it's not gonna scoot in and out for uh, pushing a child into a good seated position. Both of these guys are adjustable. 
and both promote the correct seating position for children to eat. So we want them sitting upright and then we want their legs breaking over the edge, their feet coming down and their uh, toes being able to sit on a platform to be able to push through and sort of lean forward. We don't want them back slouching, tongue moving to the back, difficult to swallow, want them more forward, that helps with gravity. It's just the better seated position for our children when they're eating. So both these chairs promote that good behavior. So we're definitely into that, uh, really strongly support that. I would give the advantage to this one though in one category. There are closer foot adjustments here for smaller children. So if you put a really little baby in here, their feet may not come down all the way to this foot piece. You might have to put like a book or something on there just initially for them to get that correct feeding seated position that we were discussing. Um, but again, that's a really small amount of time compared to the amount of time you're using the chair. It does have four different adjustment positions down. And when you're ready to make those adjustments, there is a dial underneath on both sides that you'll spin with your fingers to be able to adjust this piece down. When we wanna do any adjustments on this one, again, we're going to need an Allen wrench to undo whew, one, two, three, four, five five different screws at a minimum on one side to loosen it enough to be able to shift those pieces around, then you have to go and retighten it. So it's going to be more work on this to do those adjustments when you actually want to make them. Um, other adjustments that are definitely easier on the fresh design here are going to be removing the baby set, which is very simple. I would point out on either one of these, it's kind of cool that you could, um, Take the backrest off completely. And then it's just sort of like a three, like a little three, well, not three point harness, no harness, but just like a seated little chair. You can do the same thing here. The removal of the pieces on this one is definitely more involved. It's not difficult, but it's steps. Not actual steps, this is the steps, but it is a numerical amount of things to do in a specific order. So um, you can do the same thing here as you've got going on over there with just a lower component. I'm not gonna click it in because I wanna remove it ultimately. And then again, when we want these to be big seats for older, they're both gonna be able to do that. And I wasn't lying when I said they hold the weights that they do. I love the comfort level of this chair. It's just like very supportive. Um, it sits nicely. It is a little more confined than what you get with this guy. Usually on this one, when an adult sits on it, we would remove this component completely and just adjust the foot plate all the way up. But I am diminutive enough to at least demonstrate that it's the same seated height between the two. So again, desk, chair, dining room chair, you're gonna be able to use either one either way, which is really cool. This one will cut out, like I said, 167. This one goes to 242. They're both gonna have beech wood, so that's really nice. Now, another thing about them that's really cool is that they can actually work for newborns. You have to make an additional purchase. So you're like, why would I even do that? If you're gonna register for this, register for the newborn piece as well. Because if you're gonna have this sitting in your house, your kid's not gonna be interested in eating solids for at least six months. So the newborn piece on this guy, it's really cool. It's $149, it looks like this, and it just clips directly onto the chair. And it holds the baby, no, it's clicked on. It holds the baby uh, in two different positions. So you've got them in a very flat mode, which is awesome for newborn. This is a little toy bar. You can hang a toy on there. This will have a uh, super flat or more upright for an older child. So that's a really cool feature. Um, this guy has something a little bit more elaborate. So this is the Stoka Steps Bouncer, which will go on the Stoka Steps high chair and sit directly on it, just like this one does. Now, this doesn't have any ultra flat adjustment. I did not see anything in the literature that indicated that this wasn't suitable for a newborn. I think just by the angle of it, I would be hesitant to suggest for anybody to use it for a newborn. Now, there's also maybe possibly my user error where I'm not able to recline it, but in the seated position that it is, I would say at least three months old. However, 
What is still special about this, and what's great is that you're gonna have this face to, oops, face to face time with them where you're able to play and interact. See that angle's much more similar. Um, this one can be a bouncer. So this one's just this piece, $150, and I can't do anything else but hook onto the high chair. The one for the steps is, uh, and they'll hold 20 pounds respectively when they're on here. Where's the buttons for this? There they are. The steps piece, easy buttons, removes, and then turns into a seated bouncer. So this would be fun for older kids to be able to sit in and bounce. It is adjustable to four different positions. There's a dialing wand on the interior that you spin and the thing will adjust up or down based on how old the child is. I suspect this is most upright um, and that would be for your oldest uh, position. And then it does collapse. Flat for storage or like when it clicks on to the high chair component. So both chairs are awesome. Beautiful color choices. This one's actually about to be released in a black and a natural. I can't wait. Um, it's like my favorite, but still looks pretty sharp in the white. And this one has a ton of fun choices, a ton of more sophisticated choices. So whatever suits your lifestyle, you would have um, choices. Steps is going to run you maybe about $10 more than um, the trip trap and your bouncer here will do more, but probably can't start as soon on the high chair as this one does. But again, it is more versatile, slightly more expensive for the bouncer, 199 versus the 149 for the newborn set. Now, if that wasn't thorough enough, if I didn't answer your specific question, please leave it in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them for you. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe if you like what you're watching. We love bringing you these videos, showing you the different products, and um, yeah, come meet us at our next video, and feel free to check out my video uh, displaying all the Stoka high chairs compared to each other. It's a little bit shorter, um, but still well worth a watch. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in our next video.